morning guys welcome to another video we are on the road officially to drift week um, we left this morning at 2 a.m. we hadn't slept so we've been trading off sleeping in the truck uh, we're now in st. George we've already driven about four or five hours on the trip we got about another five or six hours to go um, to arrive at the track we're gonna unload our stuff and then tonight we've got like a city drive we're gonna kind of get stuff situated in trailers and just uh, it's kind of a meet and greet kind of first day and we have a dinner at the track and stuff like that so I don't think we're doing any drifting today but uh, it's definitely the first official day of drift week uh, and we're arriving on time not early not late just on time um, the cars are all ready I think I don't think we've ever been this prepared before or this on time on schedule both Seth and I had like we talked about those uh, extra days to get prepared and uh, it worked out great because I feel like we both got everything done that we needed to get done in order to be like feeling confident and comfortable in how our cars are set up and all that stuff so um it's just road trip day just driving just driving kind of boring but it's part of the process you gotta get to where you're going this trip is not problem free mm, mm. that's what we love we want problems always Ooh. that could be bad So uh, Seth saw some smoke, thought it might be a tire, pulled over, and it's definitely a bad wheel bearing. But uh, yeah, luckily we're somewhat close to Vegas. Vegas is that way, like 20 miles. So we're gonna tear it apart and see what we can uh, see what what we can find for parts. The pro oh, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about. Sorry about whoever's tool that is. Oof. Yeah, she real one. Don't touch that. It's hot. It is hot. <laughs> yeah. Now you're talking. Man. Yeah. On today's episode of We Did It With Beans. They're nice. Ooh, one down. Bad news. How else do you want me to do it? Oh my god. Are we on the railroad? <laughs> Down the rail. oh, Whoa, that was a spark. That's a sparky. Sparky, sparky. This is how you start forest fires. In a parking lot. In the desert? <laughs> yeah. the action. Uh, let's try and hit it down. It just to see if we can get it to break <laughs> free. You know what I mean? Mm. Problems. Problems. Always. Fast. Oh! Whoa. So, I'm taking a nap underneath the trailer in the uh, Love's parking lot just outside of Las Vegas. Seth and uh, Kelly went to grab some parts from town, and there's not much we can do because we don't have the right socket. We don't have uh, the bearing, the grease. I don't know what else we're gonna need, but we're kind of stranded here for a minute and we're all super tired. So I was like, I might as well take a nap. This is the best spot. I got my blankets, I'm all set up. So I'm just chilling. Just chilling, just waiting. Uh, we're about four hours from where we need to be. And uh, it's only, I think, 10 a.m. So we don't need to be there till three. So we're not too bad. I think we'll be able to fix it in time. As long as there's nothing majorly wrong with the axle, uh, we'll be in good shape. So I'm laying under the trailer and then uh, I kind of like, I just like waiting for Seth. So I keep looking up and I see a Corvette on a trailer pulling. I'm like, hmm, we're, we're just outside of Vegas. Corvette trailer, like, 
Who do we run into? <laughs> the <Willie. laughs> they moved. They moved to St. George in Southern Utah, and I knew they had, but we hadn't been down to visit them yet. And like, yeah. they, and we're just like, we're like an hour from St. George, and I'm like, no way. And so they pull, they pull up and like. Those drift cars? Yeah, I'm like, like, wait, are those drift cars? Like, oh shit. We stopped for fuel and they're like three stacks, so we turn like, we'll, we'll get fuel later. And then we look and we're like, no fucking way. <laughs> is that I'm, literally, I'm laying under the trailer and I look up like, <laughs> He's taking so, a nap. Yeah, yeah I saw you taking a nap under the trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw one eye open, yeah. just like, you guys woke me up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's good to see him. Exciting. Yeah, this is this is yeah. a good yeah. start. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you guys are going to Drift Week, yep. and then driving back to Utah yep. to do an off-road event, two-day yeah. off-road so event, and then going yep. back to... We're going down to Drift Week to Willow for just tonight and tomorrow until like 1 o'clock, and then we're driving all the way back to Sand Hollow State Park for a two-day off-road trip, and then Sunday night we're driving all the way back down to Tucson to make the rest of Drift Week. Wow. But we won't have the truck each other then. Yeah. Just yeah. Like, we're, we're, we'll we're just drive. Tra- yeah, yeah. Tra- yeah. We'll be starting right Drift cool. Week, cool. real Drift Week. Yeah. For, yeah. We're trailing right now because if something happens to the car, we have to be able to get back to San Paul. Yeah. Yeah, this so, car is untested for us. The guy was drifting it, so but we got the car like good. on Monday. So. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So you'll be, t- you'll be testing it on the oh, yeah. 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 On cool. the track. It's probably smart to have a trailer on Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's okay. cool. So, well good to see you guys. Yeah, awesome. you guys drive safe. <laughs> Alright, so they got back with parts. What what's going on? So we get everything. It all is the right stuff, but the axle nut is seized on the threads and it's about coming it off so if we try to take it off we're pretty sure we're going to screw the threads and ruin the axle so in hopes of fixing it right and having it good later we're going to ratchet strap up the axle hopefully get us there and fix the track with uh, some better toolage and hopefully be good for later but we're going to take off the other two wheels and grease them up because if that one failed it's usually an indication of uh the trailer needing service so we'll just we'll grease these two since they're gonna have extra load on them for the rest of the trip. We got what like 300 miles? Yeah, two, 270 something like that. It's not, not bad. bad. So hopefully someone at the track has a grinder. We can cut that nut off. Um, I don't want to go buy another grinder right now. I didn't uh, didn't bring one on the trip. So this is where we're at. How much were the parts? Freaking hundred dollars for bearing, for, for two one bearings and yeah two bearings and a. Caps. The grease, just the grease alone, that gives you an indication of like how how much these people are charging for stuff. Let me show you this. I couldn't believe this. Valvoline multi vehicle grease. That right there is an insane price for a tub of grease. Said a hundred bucks for bearings, some some uh, some bearing caps, and uh, I think that's it. And that grease, crazy. Do the thing, man. This is the only thing they taught me in high school. This and making gaskets out of a cardboard thing. Geo <laughs> boxes. Yeah, I did that. Make a water pump gasket. Or I could just buy a water pump. <laughs> That's like the worst thing ever. You got greased. You got greased. Very nice. You got my face in there. Very nice. You got lots of rags. Great. That's exactly what I needed. Just rags. Anyways, I learned how to do this in high school, and now I'm doing it on the side of the road 20 years later. No, rags. You've done this many times on the side of the road. You never learned how to do it in high school. But you never did it in your shop when you were supposed to do it. Yeah, Dakota did it last. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you did them on here, right? Okay. Look at that grease coming through there. Hopefully we make it. I'm glad I bought 14 ply tires because there's a lot of load on those two right now. Okay, so we've made three trips to this trailer shop and finally came to the conclusion that we don't have the right race for what we need. The one part, they had everything else except the race. Uh, This one's pretty bad. We are not gonna reuse it. So now I gotta drive 12 miles away to find the race and it's getting close to closing time in certain places and the trailer is up north and the place we need to go is down south. So I think we're gonna drag the trailer 
to the next trailer place and assemble it there. That way we're not driving back and forth and back and forth. Because it says 30 minutes to drive there. I don't want us to waste an hour when we could go that direction, put the wheel on when we get there. So, man, what a frustrating day. Um, yeah, it's not uh, not going super well because we've got places to be and we got things to do. So, um, I guess it is what it is. This is what happens when you, when you gotta fix stuff, you just gotta make it happen, whatever it takes. Finally, we found the right part. This thing ain't stuck in there. Don't get it stuck in there. We can't double race it. Uh, a shop called Trailer Tech in Las Vegas, right next to the library, actually. And next to the stadium, actually. Anyways, um, finally, after running all around town, we had to get a new race for that one. The other place didn't have it. So now we can grease it up, put it on, and uh, hopefully get on the road. Now that we, we, I swear we've been in Vegas for like, I don't know, hours and hours and hours. Way too long for the simple amount of work it should have been. Huge shout out to Twisted Motion for opening their shop, letting us use their tools and the stuff that we needed that we didn't have. It absolutely would not have been possible without an angle grinder. Like, it wasn't gonna happen. Um, you can see the hub here. Pretty rough. We're gonna have a hard enough time getting that nut to stay on with the few threads that are there. But like, this was really rough. We had to grind that down because it was uh, raised up. Ooh, even so, it's still kind of rough. I hope it fits on there. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be fine. This is how my Dodge truck was when I fixed it. And uh, it's been working fine. I had to grind down the hub like that, and, but my threads weren't jacked. I really hope those threads work. That's gonna be the one thing that might hold us back. We talked about threading it on and then tack welding it, but um, we don't have a wel welder access anymore. So hopefully this at least gets us to California where we have access to stuff that we may or may not need. Finally, it's all fixed. A little bit sketchy, but I'm not gonna go into details on that, but it's fixed. Time to hit the road. So we're in Prim, Nevada, and this is literally like a knockoff Bucky's. It's a Chevron, but like this is a Bucky's. Just look at the inside here. You've got jerky, you've got fudge, you've got that area that I never go to, but there's stuff over there. There's like cars in here. We're like literally in the middle of nowhere in uh, Prim, Nevada, between Vegas and the California border. And this is a knockoff Bucky. There's like 400 gas pumps outside. Um, like when you walk in, it's just got the, it's got the, looks exactly like Bucky's. You got the fountain drinks over there. There's stuff going on over there. I don't know what this is. What's going on here? Oh, like, this is wild. Never seen anything like this. California Bucky's. This is outside. Look how many pumps there are. 67, 75, 93. There's like a hundred pumps here. It's absolutely wild. Never gets old having cool cars on a trailer. I love it. This one a little bit more so. But this one's cool too. We made it to California. We are uh, we're going to Don Gus. This is a Mexican restaurant we went to when we were filming the. Uh, the icon commercial and Dan wanted to come here and so we're meeting up with Dan I'm excited to see him I haven't seen him in forever so uh and we're all starving we've been in the truck all day non-stop with problems so we're all ready to eat we made it to California you already know that we're about to do some trailer maneuvers I don't know if you can even see me it's kind of dark all right what's up Scotty Scotty the man hey, MF Brock Huey <laughs> he's the best all right Let's see if we can back it in. Crank it. Oh, that car looks great. Shred it. Literally. Watch him over there, guys. Yeah. Hold on. You're good, man. You're good. You, you yell what I said. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at this. Hold on. That wheel on the other side is... I'm gonna fall off. Hmm. Hopefully none of your wheels on the truck fall off. Or any of these wheels for that matter. <laughs> Precision maneuvering. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming. 
the truck. Look at that. 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 So we backed this trailer down the street. You can see the marks of the curb. We had it over here and we were able to get it in this spot here on the side of the house. But we had to back it through this tree and the tree caught like Seth's mirror and it probably scratched my wrap and stuff. But we have all the stuff we weren't able to unload it at the track and I didn't want to park like down around the corner because there's no street parking for a 50 foot vehicle. So we were able to put it on the side of this house. So I'm pretty stoked on that. Um, Definitely smelled like clutch. In fact, I can still smell it. It's been like an hour since we backed it and I can still smell clutch. So, ugh. It was a new South Bend clutch when I first did that swap. So I hope it's all right. So here's our first Airbnb. Oh, hey. Airbnb group. Sai. That's all. I don't want to talk to you yet. I can't, I can't even handle you. What a group of guys. This guy's from the other side of the country. Did you drive here? Yep. <laughs> Hello, Brandon. It's this guy. I haven't seen this guy and for a your while. Audience. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Dan. Hey. I say hi. Hey, hey. Brandon said hi. Brandon. Hey. Brandon. Dial. Hey, Mark. How many shirts you sell? I don't make them anymore because I'm so traumatized <laughs> from Dan harassing me on stuff. It's just once. <laughs> yeah. One, once per shirt you sold. <sighs> <sighs> Ten. Uh, one. Not one. Those yeah. shirts are gonna be collectors. Items. Yeah. <laughs> Especially once you become the judge of clutch pickers. Ooh, I upgrade. Like three judges? No, it's just B Wicks. Just <laughs> I vote B Wicks for 2022. Oh <laughs> man. Buddy. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. This oh, is the end of the day. <laughs> end of the video. I need Dan to finish this off for me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Brandon's awesome. If you're uh, not subscribed to the to the Bwigs, definitely should be. He's one of my favorite people on this planet, and he should be yours too. So, Mike. Sure. So. Are we really doing this right now? No, we don't have to. I'm, I'm like still contemplating. That's where you sleep. That's where I sleep. And that's where the line is where we don't touch each other. Sometimes my leg just kind of ah, crosses way up. They better not. It does sometimes.